Hello, welcome to Taylor Sinise Yoga and Fitness. My name is Taylor, and this is your Power Flow Week 1. So let's jump right into it. We are going to start on our mats in our child's pose for this sequence. So go ahead and make your way down to your hands and to your knees. And then separate your knees to the outer edges of your mat. Draw your big toes to touch. Now, for my tiles pose, I just like to use the support of a block underneath my hips um, and on top of my heels. That just gives my knees a little bit more support. You can use whatever support or modifications um, serve you best in your child's pose, whether you want some support underneath your knees, maybe a towel or a blanket or a uh, block underneath your forehead, whatever you have to do to make this child's pose work for you. And then as you're ready, you'll start to walk your hands forward and draw your forehead to rest onto your mat. And take a moment to just settle in here. Allow yourself to get comfortable and then find stillness. Start to bring awareness to your body. So any places that might feel tight or any places that are tense, bring some awareness there. And just keep those areas in the back of your mind as you flow. Push into the palms of your hands so that your elbows lift off of your mat and press your hips into your heels to lengthen through your spine. Inhale through your nose. Fill up your belly. Fill your rib cage. Expand. Open mouth. Exhale. Let that go. Another one just like that. Deep breath in. Fill up your belly. Expand your rib cage. And open mouth. Exhale. Sigh it out. One more cleansing breath in through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Now activate your ujjayi breath in through your nose and out through your nose with the constriction to the back of your throat. So inhale ujjayi. And then exhale ujjayi. Continue with your ujjayi on your own time. Know that this is your warming breath. So if you ever start to overheat or feel overwhelmed during your practice, you switch to your open mouth exhales. And also know that this is your meditative breath. So if your thoughts start to wander, you bring it back to your breath. You focus on your inhales and your exhales. Inhale, push up to your tabletop pose. Push up to all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees. Then exhale. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly. Arch your back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Open up through your chest. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Draw your belly up and in. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly. Arch your back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Open up through your chest. And exhale, cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Draw your belly up and in. Flow through this cat cow. One more time on your own time and bring any extra movement into your body. Inhale for cow. If you want to push into your side bodies or take a couple of hip circles. And exhale for cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Pull your belly up and in. Come back to your neutral tabletop position. Gaze down at your mat so you elongate through the back of your neck. Pull the tops of your ribs together. Engage your abdominals. Inhale, tuck your toes. Come to the balls of your feet. Exhale, 
downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. And just find some movement here in your down dog to start to wake up the back line of your body. Your Achilles, your calves, and your hamstrings. And then find stillness here in your down dog. Spread your fingers wide, push through your fingertips, and then press through the L's of your hands, that space between your thumb and your index finger. From there, press your torso towards your thighs and allow your heels to release into your mat. Know that you can always keep a bin in the backs of your knees to take any pressure away from your hamstrings. Now listen here, put the weight into your right hand, take a deep breath in, Exhale, down dog twist. Reach your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Gaze underneath your armpits. Keep your abdominals held strong. Two rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shift the weight into your left hand, inhale. Exhale, down dog twist. Reach your right arm to the outside of your left leg. Gaze underneath your armpit. Keep your abdominals held strong. Two rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Travel to the top of your mat. Walk your feet behind your wrist. Separate your feet hip-width distance apart and put a bend in your knees here to allow your belly to relax onto your thighs. Reach for your opposite elbows. Let your head, your neck, your shoulders hang heavy. Maybe a couple of sways from side to side. couple of shakes of your head yes and no if you have tension anywhere in your neck or your upper shoulders your jaw let that go switch out your grip put your opposite arm on top keep your body even and equal a couple of more sways from side to side Then release your hands towards your mat. With a bend in your knees, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, stack your joints. Your head will be the last to reach standing. Once you find yourself at standing here, just take a couple of shoulder rolls and a couple of neck rolls as well. And then find stillness. Let your palms face forward to the front of your room. And ground down through your feet. Spark your fingertips, have energy in the palms of your hands and lift your chest. Stand up tall and proud. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Sweep both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe here. Quick shoulder check. If your shoulders came up with your arms, draw them back down your back. Rotate your pinky fingers in to face each other. Stay lifted in your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. And drop your right arm behind you. Reach your left arm forward. Breathe here. So keep your hips square. Pull your left hip back. Squeeze your shoulders together. Gaze wherever is comfortable. If you want to complete the twist, gaze at your back hand to the side or even at your front hand. Keep your abdominals engaged to protect your back and support this twist. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, open arm twist to the left side. Reach your left arm behind you, your right arm forward. Pull your right hip back 
to keep your hips square. Gaze wherever is comfortable. Relax your shoulders down your back and stay lifted in your abdominals. Inhale, mountain. Tadasana. Fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge forward, start to release your fingertips down towards your mat. Inhale, half lift. Plant your palms against your shins. And breathe here. So work for a flat spine. Pull your shoulders down and together, engage your abdominals and shift just a little bit of weight forward into your toes. Inhale. Exhale, high plank pose. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Your body's in one straight line, shift the weight forward over your wrist and lower all the way down to your belly. Hug your elbows in to your rib cage. Flip to the tops of your feet, shoelace side down. Inhale, baby cobra bhujangasana. Start to peel your chest off of your mat. Press your feet down, shoelace side down. Squeeze your glutes. Light pressure in your hands, gaze to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Release your baby cobra. Inhale, high plank pose. Tuck your toes. Push your body up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let that go. That's our sun A. Let's flow. One breath to one movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Tadasana, ground down to stand up tall. Exhale, open arm twist. Reach your right arm behind you, your left arm forward. Inhale, mountain, fingertips up. Exhale, open arm twist in the opposite direction to the left side. Reach your left arm behind you. Inhale, mountain, fingertips up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your torso. Release your fingertips all the way down to your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, high plank pose. Plant your hands. Step your feet back. Shift the weight forward. Lower all the way down to your belly. Hug your elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra. Flip to the tops of your feet. Bhujangasana. Peel your chest off of your mat. Light pressure on your hands. Exhale, release your baby cobra. Inhale, high plank. Tuck your toes. Push your torso up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold. Release it all the way down. Inhale, mountain tadasana. Ground down to stand up tall. Exhale, open arm twist. Right arm behind you, left arm forward. Inhale, mountain, fingertips up. Exhale, open arm twist, left arm behind you, right arm forward. Inhale, mountain, fingertips tall. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward, start to release your hands down towards your mat. Inhale, half lift, flatten out your, abdom your spine, engage your abdominals. Exhale, high plank pose, plant your hands, step your feet back, shift the weight forward, bend your elbows, lower all the way to your belly. Flip to the tops of your feet. Inhale, baby cobra, peel your chest off of your mat. Exhale, release your baby cobra. Inhale, high plank, tuck your toes, push all the way up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips, deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let that go. Another one just like that, deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Ujjayi breath, we'll move on to our sun B. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. 
inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine, engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold, release it all the way down. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, sit low, reach your fingertips above you, breathe here. Let's set up our chair pose. Put more weight in your heels than you have the balls of your feet. Really hug in your lower belly so there's no sway there. If you gaze down, you should be able to see your toes. They should be able to move around. And then you lightly place them back down. Energetically engage your inner thighs and activate your glutes. Remember, you have this option to bring your hands together at heart center to remove any extra strain from your shoulder joints. Sit a little bit lower, trust the strength of your legs, inhale. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sweep your fingertips to the wall behind you. Your pinky fingers will face the ceiling. Fire up your triceps, lift your arms a little bit higher. Keep your lower belly engaged to protect your back. Now shift the weight into your right foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Reach your left knee up towards the ceiling. Hands reach above you, or they can be here at heart center. You may need to drop your left hip down so your hips are even. Use your lower belly to support your floating leg. Knee is in line with your hips. Inhale, big transition, move with your core. Exhale, low lunge with control. Reach your fingertips to the floor. Tap your left foot to the mat behind you. Now inhale, kneeling warrior. Drop your left knee down. Reach both fingertips up towards the ceiling and breathe. Drive your right heel into the mat so that you pull your right hip back. Really press and stretch open through this left hip flexor. Stay lifted in your abdominals. That's important to keep your lower back safe. Rib cage is closed. Relax your shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, side stretch. Drop your right arm, then reach your left arm up and over. Really open up through your left side body. Relax your left shoulder down your back and rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Stay lifted in your abdominals. Inhale, kneeling warrior. Come back to center. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Tuck your back toes. Activate your back leg, reach your fingertips to the wall behind you. Activate your triceps, lift them up. Find some tension between the palms of your hands. Inhale, crescent. Fingertips reach up tall. Breathe here. Pull your right hip back. Press open through your left hip flexor. Turn your left hamstring on. Lift the back of your leg towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Open up to the long edge side of your mat. Your front knee is stacked right on top of your ankle. Then feel it press back and open towards your pinky toe. Stay lifted in your abdominals and ground the knife edge of your back foot into your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle. Start to straighten in your front leg. Reach your top hand high. Breathe. Bump your hips forward here, just to even them out. Flex your quad on your front leg, that's going to protect your knee. Relax your right shoulder down your back and open up through your right side body. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Cartwheel your hands onto your mat, your first vinyasa of class. Shift the weight forward, bend your elbows, keep them pinned to your side body. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip to the tops of your feet. Lift your thighs off of your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold. Release it all the way down. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana, sit low, fingertips high. Breathe here. 
the weights in your heels, trust the strength of your legs here. You are more than capable. Energetically engage your inner thighs, sit a little bit lower. Inhale. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep your fingertips to the wall behind you. Fire up your triceps, lift your arms above your hips. Find some tension between the palms of your hands, kind of like you were holding onto a big beach ball. Start to shift the weight into your left leg. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Peel your right leg off of your mat. Reach your arms to the ceiling above you and breathe. Options to bring your hands together at heart center, just to remove any extra strain from your shoulder joints. Really hug in your lower belly. That's gonna remove any extra pressure you may feel in your hip flexor. Level off your hips. You might need to drop your right hip down. Flex your toes on your floating leg. Big transition, move with your core engaged. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. With control, ever so slowly. Bring your fingertips to frame your front foot and tap your right foot down to the back of your mat. Now inhale, kneeling warrior, drop your back knee down. Reach both fingertips up to the ceiling and breathe. Drive your left heel into the mat so that you can pull your left hip back. Stretch open through your right hip flexor. Pull up in your lower belly. Turn your right glute on. Relax your shoulders down your back, inhale. Exhale, side stretch. Drop your left arm to the floor. Reach your right arm up and over. Open up through your right side body. Gaze towards the ceiling, rotate your chest up, but stay lifted in your center, your abdominal muscles. Inhale, kneeling warrior, come back to center. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Tuck your back toes, straighten in your back knee. Reach your fingertips behind you. Hinge in your, at your torso. Let the energy shoot out through the crown of your head. Activate your back leg and stay lifted in your core muscles. Inhale, crescent. Fingertips reach up tall. Breathe. Keep your hips square. Pull your left hip back. Press open through your right hip flexor. Pull the tops of your ribs together. Engage your abdominals. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Open up to the long edge side of your mat. There's a 90 degree bend in your front knee and engage the instep, the arch of your front leg. Stay lifted in your center. And ground down through the knife edge of your back foot. Gaze over your front hand. Then energetically, ignite your inner thighs. Pull your back arch and your front heel together. Inhale, reverse triangle, start to straighten in your front leg. Reach your top hand high, your left arm high. Breathe. Bump your hips forward to the front to make some space. Flex your quad on your front leg, that's gonna keep you safe. Relax your left shoulder down and away from your ear. Inhale, reach a little bit higher. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Cartwheel your hands and move through your vinyasa. Remember, you have options. You can take this from your knees or skip it all together. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Ujjayi breath. Let's move one breath to one movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward, full, release it down. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, fingertips up. Exhale, chair with airplane. Sweep your fingertips behind you. Inhale, one-legged mountain. It's your left knee. Left knee reaches up. Exhale, low lunge. Move with your core, engage. Tap it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Drop your back knee down. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, side stretch. Drop your right arm 
or reach your left arm up and over. Inhale, kneeling warrior. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Tuck your back toes. Activate your back leg. Inhale, crescent, fingertips up. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low plank. Move through your vinyasa, take your options. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Seat low, fingertips up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sweep your fingertips to the wall behind you. This time it's your right leg. Inhale, one legged mountain. Right knee tall. Exhale, low lunge. Use your core. Move with control. Inhale, kneeling warrior, back knee down. Both fingertips up. Exhale, side stretch. Drop your left arm, reach your right arm up and over. Inhale, kneeling. Come back to center. Exhale. Crescent with airplane arms. Hinge in your torso. Inhale, crescent, fingertips up. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Inhale, reverse triangle. Top hand stretches up tall. Exhale, chaturanga. High to low plank. Any options you need, take them. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just one more time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward, walk your feet forward. Inhale, half lift, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Seat low, fingertips up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee tall. Exhale, low lunge. Use control, tap it down, that's it. Inhale, kneeling warrior, back knee down, both arms up. Exhale, side stretch, reach your left arm up. Inhale, kneeling warrior. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, crescent, you've got this. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse triangle, front leg straight. Exhale, chaturanga. High to low plank, take your options. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog, just one more side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward, stay with me. I'll use your breath, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, seat low. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep your fingertips behind you. Inhale, one leg and mountain, your right knee reaches tall. Exhale, low lunge, use your core, tap it down. Inhale, kneeling warrior, back knee down, both arms up. Exhale, side stretch, reach your right arm over. Inhale, kneeling. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, crescent, fingertips up. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low plank. Use your options. Listen to your body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Lower down to your knees. Grab a quick seat here. Really nice work, y'all. We will pause here for a quick water.
welcome back to your second half of practice. I hope you were able to get some water, uh, maybe towel off a little bit if you started to build up a sweat and refresh yourself. Um, so let's jump right back into the second half of our practice. We are going to move right into our core work. So for your co core work, we're gonna switch to our open mouth exhales. Um, we're gonna let, our, let go of our ujjayi breath just for that section, uh, just to release the heat that we're gonna build up. So we're starting core on our back today. Go ahead and lay all the way down. And then you'll take your legs up the wall, flex your toes towards your face. Bring your hands behind your head. So pull your belly button to your spine so that you can activate your lower belly. Drop your left leg down, let it hover a couple of inches off of your mat. Take a deep breath in and exhale, twist. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. It's center. Exhale, twist. And center. Exhale, twist. Open mouth exhales. Center. Exhale, twist. So try to keep your elbows wide. Exhale, twist. Your chest lifted directly to the ceiling. Exhale, twist. The space between your chin and chest is open and twist. Center, exhale, twist. It's center, exhale, twist. Here's your count. You've got eight and center. Four, seven. Use your open mouth exhales. Six more. Center. Four, five and center exhale four three you'll hold on the right side in two and one center and you hold for eight seven six five four three switch it out in two and one center and twist eight seven six five four three two one nice work hug your knees to your chest maybe a couple of rocks from side to side that feels pretty good on your lower back then hands behind your knees start to rock and roll the length of your spine you'll work up enough momentum to cross your feet plant your hands step back Find your forearm plank. Forearms connect to your mat. Activate your legs here. Shoulders are right over your wrist. Hold this for four. Three, we pulse our right leg up in two. And one, right leg pulse. You've got eight, seven, six. Yes, you can. Last four. Three, two, one. Left leg is eight. Seven, keep your hips down. Six, five, you've got this. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Lower down to your knees. Take a seat on your heels or really any comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Let's take a few cleansing and centering breaths. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let that go. Another one just like that, deep breath in. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Come back to your Ujjayi breath. We'll make our way back to our downward facing dog and into the second half of our practice. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side out. Ujjayi breath, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Release it all the way down. Inhale, chair pose. We've been here before, sit low, fingertips up. Exhale, cheer with airplane arms. Keep your lower belly engaged. Protect your back. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Reach your left knee up towards the ceiling. Extend your arms above you. Exhale, airplane pose. 
Kick your leg to the wall behind you. Fingertips extend behind you as well. Breathe here. Find your dristi. Focus your eyes. Dial your left hip down. Find an upward filling dog in your chest. Inhale. Exhale, dancers on your left. Kick your left foot behind you. Move slowly in this transition. Reach your right arm up. Another deep breath in. Exhale. Kick into your back leg. No worries if you bobbled a little bit in that transition. It's all good. You just go right back into it. Stay lifted in your chest. Hold this for three. Another big transition coming up in two and one, low lunge. With control, release your left leg. Start to bend into your right knee. Tap your toes down. Let's work, take a deep breath in. And exhale, wide leg at forward fold. Spider crawl to the long edge side of your mat. Put a bend in your knees. Shift the weight forward into your toes. Take a little bit of free time here. If you want to get upside down, try on an inversion. Maybe some side lunges. A couple of twists. Or just stillness. Just hang out here in your wide-legged forward fold. A couple more rounds of breath here. And then inhale, halfway lift, come to your fingertips. And with a flat spine, rise yourself all the way up to stand. Star pose, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten in your front leg, bump your hips forward, make space. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands all the way down. Back to your mat. Now inhale, half splits. Drop your back knee down. Extend your right leg forward. Know that you can keep a bend in this right knee as much as you need to, as it feels good in your hamstring. Find the length through your spine. Keep your hips lifted. Option to stay right here in this half splits. Or you can go a little bit further and move into your full splits, your hamanasana. Know that you have options in your full split. You can use the support of blocks or a couple of stacked books as you slide into your splits. Or you can also bring a block or a folded towel underneath your front hamstring just to bring the floor up to you a little bit. Take whatever options you need to allow yourself to try out this posture. Keep your hips square and breathe. Keep your breath consistent and constant in this challenging posture. Now full splits, Hamanasana. Start to make your way back to your half splits. If your mat comes with you, that's okay. Just straighten it out. Take a deep breath in, exhale, low lunge. Shift back forward into your front leg. Inhale, three-legged dog, put the weight into your hands. Kick your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, chaturanga. Option for your one-legged chaturanga, you can float your back leg. Or option to totally skip this one. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's take that same flow on the left side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Flatten out your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold. Release it down. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low. Lower belly in. Protect your back. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sweep your fingertips to the wall behind you. This time it's your right knee. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee extends up. 
Exhale, airplane pose. Hinge at your torso. Reach your right foot to the wall behind you. Reach your fingertips. Dial your right hip down. Find an upward feeling dog in your chest. Activate your right glute. Connect to your dristi. Focus your eyes. Inhale. Exhale, dancers on the right. Lift in your torso, grab for the inside edge, the arch part of your foot. Your thumb and your big toe connect. Take another inhale. And exhale, move further into your dancers. Kick your right foot behind you. Stay lifted in the front of your body. Reach your top arm to the ceiling. Hold on to your dristi. Focus your eyes. Hold this for three. Tap it down to your low lunge in two. And one with control. Move slow. Take your time. Release your back foot. Tap it down to your low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, wide legged forward full. Spider crawl to the long edge side of your mat. All 10 toes will face the long edge side. You can even work to be a little pigeon toed here. And just breathe. This is your time. You can move into some inversions, some twists, side lunges, or you can just remain here in stillness. Inhale, halfway lift. Come to your fingertips, flatten out your spine. Rise all the way up, start pose. Heels in, toes out, get big, take up space. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Reach your top hand up tall. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot. Inhale, half splits, drop your back knee down. Shift your hips backwards. Extend your left leg forward. Keep your hips lifted. And you can always bend this front knee. Breathe into your hamstrings to the tight, intense places. Know that you can stay right here to go a little bit further into your hamanasana or your splits. Start to walk forward. Remember the use of your supports, your box on the side of you or underneath that front hamstring. Take whatever supports you need so that you can experience this posture. And use your breath to move deeper into this posture. Ensure that your breath is consistent and constant. And then with care, start to make your way back to your half splits. It's okay if your mat comes with you. Inhale, exhale, low lunge, shift back forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Kick your left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chaturanga. Option for your one-legged chaturanga to take it from your knees or skip it all together. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog deep breath in through your nose open mouth exhale let that go lower down to your knees and come to a seat we'll start to cool it down 
So we'll open up our hips today with fire log, our double pigeon. So your right leg will be your base. You parallel your shin to the top of your mat. Cross your left leg over the top. So your left ankle is stacked on top of your right knee. Right knee over your left ankle. Flex your toes here. That's gonna help protect your knee joint. Know that you can use a block underneath that hip to give you some more support. However, try to make sure both of your sit bones are rooted onto the mat. You can find a tall spine. You can close your eyes. You can stay right here. Let's go a little bit further. Inhale. And I can start to walk your hands forward. Root your hips down. Try to use your breath to soften, to release. Shake, shake them out, and then switch it out. So cross your left leg on the bottom, right leg over the top. Flex your feet. Remember, you can always use this block support here. Find the tall spine. Close your eyes, settle into your space. You want to go further, inhale, and exhale, start to walk your hands forward. Shake, shake them out. So reach your right leg to the corner of your mat. And tuck your left leg in to your thigh. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, seated separate leg stretch. Reach your hands towards your foot. Square your shoulders here, so drop your left shoulder down. Know that you can keep a bend as much as you need to in this knee. And then move with your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Root both sits bones firmly into your mat, especially your left hip here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more deep breath in. And one more exhale. Roll up through your spine, switch your legs out. Extend your left leg to the upper edge corner of your mat. Tuck your right foot in. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, seated separate leg stretch. Reach for your foot, remember to bend your knee as much as you need to in this posture. Relax your right shoulder down. Move with your breath in all length and exhale fold. Inhale lengthen. Exhale fold. One more deep breath in. And one more exhale. Inhale, engage your core. Roll up through your spine. And then exhale. 
Extend both legs out in front of you. Start to lower all the way down until you're laying flat on your mat. One at a time, start to draw your knees into your chest. Inhale. Exhale, happy baby. Bend your knees to your armpits. Reach for the outside edges of your feet or the inside edges, your ankles, or the backs of your knees. Whatever allows your lower back and your neck to remain attached to the mat. You can take soft rocks from side to side. Maybe open up one leg. Open up them both. And then inhale, come back to center. Pull your knees into your chest. Extend your left leg long to lower as flat on your mat. Inhale, hug your right knee in. Exhale, supine twist. Drop your right knee over to the left. Reach your arms out into a T. Relax both of your shoulders down. Gaze wherever it's comfortable. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch out your legs. Inhale, hug your left knee into your body. Exhale, twist. Drop your left knee over to the right. Arms reach long into a T-shape. Remember, it's more important that both shoulders remain attached than your opposite knee actually touching the mat. your thighs to your belly start to connect your forehead to your knee begin one more sip of air deep breath in and exhale shavasana start to lower all the way down so you're laying flat on your mat allow your body to get heavy here your core to disengage release your tongue from the roof of your mouth unhinge your jaw And just rest here. Quiet your mind and still your body. I will let you know when it's time to come out of your Shavasana.
Start to bring some awareness back into your body. Start with your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> bring some movement into your fingers, into your toes. Take some ankle circles and wrist circles. Reach your arms above your head for a full body stretch. Reach through your fingertips, point through your toes. A couple of nods of your head from side to side. And then as you're ready, make your way to fetal pose. Curl onto either side of your mat. Use your biceps as a pillow. Pause here. One last moment of stillness and quiet before you enter back into your day. Then with your eyes closed or softly focused, start to press up to a seat at the top of your mat. Find a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to rest along your knees. We'll close out with unifying breaths. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Hands come together, heart center, inhale. Exhale, we'll bow forward in mutual gratitude. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your space, your effort, and your trust. Come back to sitting up. Release your hands to your knees. Gently blink your eyes open. Incredible practice today, friends. Hope you have an amazing rest of, rest of your day. And I will meet you on your mat next time.